Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the video. So I'm really excited for today's video. Um, like I mentioned in the intro, my style kind of a little bit changing a little bit. And um, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to Halloween, uh, I like to watch ghost hunting videos and uh, ghost stories and everything like that. But you would think I'll be into horror movies, but I'm really not. Um, that's not my cup of tea, but I like to watch ghost hunting videos because um it's just entertaining um so i thought you know what throughout how throughout this month i haven't drawn anything creepy and i'm like i want to put my two styles together um to form a new style and this is my baby side so hopefully it's not too disturbing for you guys and let's get on with the creepiness of my art materials i'll be using for your today's video now the majority of materials, I might be using my ballpoint pen for this sketch, and I might be using this Copic Multiliner size 1 um, Sharpie, maybe. Um, but I do know I will use is this ink. And uh, guys, I've been using this all month since I got my um, subscription box from Sketchbox. I've been using this. This is the easiest ink I've been work worked with for so long, and um it's really fun to work with and this is india ink um so i've been using this uh washes and everything so that's been a lot of fun um so we're going to be using that in today's video um we probably might be using my cards i'm not really sure yet depending on the detail of the hair or how i go about that but um i know i'll be using my ballpoint pen which is this one right here um, I'm going to be using water to do with the ink. Um, I'm trying to think what else I'll be using, but we're going to go ahead and go over to the voiceover part of the video. I'm going to go ahead and eat this, uh, creepy doll and have a lot of fun with it. It's just something new, something fresh, something I haven't done before. So, I just, I'm really excited for this one right here. Um, so, this is like the most excited I've been for art in a really long time. So, who knows, this might be start or something, or I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and get started with the paint. Hopefully, it turns out well. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, and we're going to be going back to my other style with the, the cute side of it, the creepy side after Halloween. So, I just want to see what I can come up with for that. But, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Turn the notification bell on so you won't miss a video. I want to get started with today's video. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to the part of the video where we usually do a voiceover, which we're doing right now. And I am so excited about this new adventure with creepy Halloween art. Um, I took a Scotia class today of creepy art and learned a lot. So I'm pretty happy how this turned out. I've been trying to work at this all day by playing the drawing. And trying to come up with a concept for um, opened, which is the prompt word for October day twenty two. Now, with that being said, I got her to open the jar or try to open the jar at least. Um, so you see the doll trying to open the jar, and I thought that was creepy enough. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, guys, I've been learning. So much with ink this month, it's crazy. Uh, I've been taking Skillshare after Skillshare class of inking and line art and everything, and it's been a lot of fun. Like, I've been branching out into topics that otherwise I wouldn't have drawn before. Um, so, I'm really excited about this today prop. Actually, this is the most excited I've felt in a very long time with art and um, trying new things and trying to get comfortable with the new style and trying to learn and trying to grow. And what I'm trying to say is, if you feel like stuck in a rut or something, try something new and try to uh, step out of your comfort zone. If you can, try to mix your style together. You never know what you, you will create. Um, for this one, I came up with Haunted Doll for Day 22, and I must say, I'm pretty surprised myself with the fun. Uh, this is the first time you guys see me use ink wash uh, for the portrait, and I had done a video 
I haven't posted it yet of my new inky process, and I'm having a lot of fun with line art and ink and wash, and I'm having a lot of fun with that, and you're gonna be seeing the ink wash coming up, and I'm getting really comfortable with it, where I can film myself, um, doing the ink wash for you guys, and yeah, so, I'm really happy how this turned out, um, any tips and tricks on how you can complete your Inktober, like, I remember last year when I completed my first Inktober, I was like, wow, I didn't learn a lot, but there's like so much of ink that I didn't realize I could get into, and it was like, I've been more experimental this uh, year, and been trying all kinds of things with ink, and not just the one point pen, um, so... My point is, it's been a lot of fun, and I've had days where I struggled with Inktober this year, not gonna lie, which is when I did post. Um, and I want to backtrack with that real quick. Um, uh, the reason I did post, um, a couple of days ago is because, uh, I don't know why, I just kind of missed the days, and I was supposed to get some stock for floor and I do have it now so I'm really excited about that. So I have some plans that I'm going to be doing for videos uh, with intros and everything like that coming up for Christmas, Thanksgiving. Um, so I'm really excited about that and I can't wait to use the intros that I'm able to get now and um, so I'm really excited about videos coming up. So um, hopefully we'll get to the ink wash part. I think we're about to get to the ink wash where I can talk about that real quick. Uh, the ink I am using is India ink. Uh, it's one of the subscription boxes I have received in uh, recently for Inktober, and I love that ink. I have to get more of it, but it's one of my favorite inks I've used because it's so easy to use and water down and dilute it with water. Um, so here's the bow. Um, of the, uh, uh, wash, so, anyway, that guy's distracted. Um, so I'm really excited. I've been learning where to start when you're inking your process. You want to start at the top of your paper and work your way down. Only because if you work on the shirt first or something, you will drag your hand through your ink, and you don't want that. So, that is much. And you also want to work from left to right. Um, you saw me in the beginning of the video where I was working from the left eye to the right eye. Um, that way you won't budge. And I'm starting with the hair here, so there's the ink wash for that. Um, I'm really excited about wearing the different washes and getting comfortable with the inks and getting, um, getting my style down and having a lot of fun with it. So, yeah, if you have any uh, tips or tricks for me or if you want to share with what you're working on, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, will I stick to this style? Probably not. Um, the reason being, I'm going to go back to cutesy and cartoons because you guys seem to like that, but uh, I'm doing that for me, but um, go back to the cutesy um, cartoons and stuff after Halloween, so... Uh, stay subscribed. So hopefully this doesn't scare you off. Um, and hopefully it doesn't give you nightmares. I just want to have fun with Inktober while I can. And I'm looking forward to Inktober all, um, year. So, this is like the best, um, I guess it's like the best part of the month or something. And it's just, I don't know, it's like a whole community out there doing Inktober and, um, so I have fun seeing all the shorts going on that I have Inktober with them, and uh, there's so many shorts out there, and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going one after another watching all of them. Um, uh, if you have a short on your channel of Inktober, let me know, I'll definitely go watch that, and, yeah, so, anyway, I think this video is coming to a close, so if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, let me know down in the comments down below. Turn your notification button on so you won't miss the video. I want to go ahead and put spooky music over the rest of it. You guys can join along and draw and everything you want to. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Hopefully this drawing didn't scare you off or give you any nightmares. Or, um, yeah, so I had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'm back to making videos again. I keep missing days, but 
again, I was waiting for for the for more uh, film stock um to pay for it. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.